Love seeketh not itself to please, not for itself has any care, but for another gives its ease and built a heaven in hell's despair. So spake a little clod of clay trodden by the cattle's feet, but a pebble from the spring warbled out these meters meet. Love seeketh only self to please, to bind another to its delight, joys in another's loss of ease, and builds a hell in heaven's despite. Thank you. All right, let's uh, get back to our usual question and answer in a potpourri. Yeah. Another five dollar question is, oh boy, oh boy, five dollar, five dollar question. Why did Taco Bell invent the Choco Taco? Why, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why did Taco Bell invent the Choco Taco and it says, carnivals and traveling shows, uh, the carnival would welcome all. Kids from 6 to 60 and oldsters, 90 years young. Everybody would go to the big top or the ten of the, uh, uh, five. The thing is, uh, the thing is, you seem to see a ghostly image of Daddy O'Day and Farfall for some reason. The, the thing is, um, there was one group that the carnival people didn't like to show up. And these were the cops. The bulls, they were going to uh, rouse the carnival out, shut them down, and yet it was necessary to communicate, even when there was a big, mean-looking, stupid, flat-footed cop standing right there. So they developed ways of talking that could only be understood by the other carnies, and one of these we call oppish, although I don't think they called it that. All you do is you put the syllable up inside every other syllable. There's only one place it will fit, and that is directly before the vowel. Unfortunately, since there are no carnies here, as I answer this question in Oppish, no one will be able to understand me. Well, let's, that's well, too well, bad, let's, but, let's, let's give them an example. Like, how would you say my name in Oppish? Your, my name in Oppish or your name? <laughs> Distressing literalism shall not be the hallmark of this show. Your name is Choppy Goppin Jump On. Yay! And what about K Rob's name? Bopit Wapwit Bopi Copy Rap Up. Up and Sopo, Yapu Sapi, Up it's not but Bobit Hopar, Jap Wapin Upper Sap and Opish, Up with Yapu Hop of Gopin Sloppy Mumpy Grumpy Poppy. Papa, 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 well, they, uh, um... I'm a I'm a I'm a So I hope you got it. The uh, Choco Taco is invented because of the death gasps of a large dying organization. But here's a good question. Okay. Vagina dentata. <laughs> Dangerous. <laughs> According to the old saw or legend about the vagina dentata, these are. Nether teeth. Found in the nether region. That's terrifying. Yes, it is. Uh, it has been used to terrify uh, generations of people. And it's one of the oldest stories of humanity. 
It has very little basis, in fact. But I'm here tonight to tell you that it has some basis. <laughs> You've often seen how two copulating dogs sometimes cannot be separated. Well, in rare cases, this can happen to humans as well. No. Owing to the remarkable and very infrequent but still sometimes occurring case of the vagina. <laughs> so, but anybody who puts uh, dentures in there down there is kind of sick, if you want my opinion, that's just my opinion. Let's move on. Maybe we just cover that. But the thing is, the paradox is you don't need one here. Nobody gives a... Uh, 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 nobody cares. Nobody cares. That's it. Oh. Nobody cares. You can smoke all the pot you want. Yeah! And then you can laugh at stupid shit. Like that guy. I don't care. I don't care. And no one will care. Jake and I really feel. I didn't answer that other question I was working on, and I... Uh, I just can't stop thinking about this guy's going to drive home. <laughs> See? <laughs> We're gonna, I'm going to build you a box seat up there, and you can be like the two old guys on the mother chair. <laughs> this show's a real treasure. Yeah, let's bury it. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> That was a clicking sound, Kara. We <laughs> were play clicking sounds. We had play music, but clicking sounds are all we have to pull. What do you got in there? You got anything, Kara? What do you got? Right there, boom. You got something. <laughs> all right, we're waiting here. Slack. Okay. Give me. Ah, oh, that was. Slack is the soft voice. Slack is the soft voice. And you see, uh, Don Fisher, who wanted to devote this article, he was the uh, guy who bought the, uh, the Gap, and he got everybody, not just working class people, wearing jeans and t-shirts and sweatshirts and casual Fridays and office dressing down, and pretty soon everybody <laughs> is schlubbing along in a t-shirt and jeans, Slack. and it's his fault! Oh, his fault! Fucker. Back in the 40s, everybody used to wear hats. So women wouldn't go out of the house without their gloves. But now uh, we're all in Slobboville. And it's largely because of this guy. Slacker. Yes, that's the one. He died and he got away from us. But he won't escape the cosmic justice. Oh, no, he will not. Do you know why I hate that fucking piece of detritus? I don't and care. Our the fucking bow and arrow. Yeah. Oh, he's responsible for that too. Cocksucker paid for that fucking bit of pollution made out of the same materials they make malls out of. Fiberglass and fucking metal stud construction. It's gonna make terrible ruins, you know what I mean? I mean, the Pantheon, the Greek shit, they blew it up, they went to war, fucking turned stuff over. Pantheon is still in existence. Whatever. Alright, we've had this one before. What does the H stand for in Jesus H. Christ? No, the H, I think, is just something we add for emphasis. Yeah, to make the name of Jesus more punchy. And that in itself shows that Jesus' stock is failing. No wonder all these conservatives and evangelicals are concerned. Because, uh, not only do they feel it's necessary to punch up our Lord's name, but now, as I said, they're rewriting the uh, uh, Bible, so economic elites can benefit from the Master's uh, teaching. Let's uh, just uh, say H stands for humongous, as befitting the creative principle of the Holy Trinity, creator of heaven and earth, and judgment at the final day, when the dreadful throne shall be spread in middle air to judge the quick and the dead, 
The sea shall give up the lost, and the monsters will walk here. We're rolling. Right, the good one. Take five.